Hi, I'm Alex Ohm, part of Royal Industrial Solutions, a division of the Industrial Solutions Network. And today we're going to talk about how to download Connected Component Workbench. So to do this, we're going to go to our favorite web browser. I prefer Google Chrome. And in the search bar, we're going to search up Connected Components Workbench. We're going to go to the first non-add link that we find, which will take us to this page. And if we scroll down to the download section, we'll find the standard edition version 11 software download, which is the latest release as of the release of this video. It'll take us to a new page. And we're going to go under downloads. There's a little gray icon that looks like an arrow pointing into a box. We're going to click on that. And it's going to show us some options of different files that we can download related to Connected Component Workbench version 11. The very first one is actually the main software program. Then you also see that we have some trending data that um, is a new feature. We've got Control Flash that's a downloadable option that allows us to uh, flash the firmware on some of our hardware devices. We have the feature pack for Micro 800 and for PanelView 800, which is another set of hardware that can be programmed with this software. And at the bottom, we have the user manual and some sample code that we can review if we'd like. Today, we're just going to download the main software package. So we're going to click on that. It's going to take us to another screen where we need to sign into our Rockwell Automation account. If you've downloaded Rockwell Automation software before, then you'll already have an account. You can go ahead and just sign in. Otherwise, you can create a new account. Uh, it's absolutely free. You can manage your email preferences so you don't get bombarded with useless emails. So Today, we're going to just sign into my existing account. And it's going to take us to a disclaimer page as soon as it's done loading. So we have to sign the EULA. So we're going to go ahead and accept it. And then it's going to give us the choice of either doing a managed download or a direct download. I always, always, always recommend the managed download. That way, if you lose your internet connection or something else goes wrong, we don't have to deal with a corrupted file, then have to start the process all over again. So we're going to click to manage download, and that should automatically launch the download if you're on the right um, browser. So here we can see that it's already launched this. It's a very, very quick download, and then we're going to open it when it's done. And uh, if you look at our time clock here in the bottom of the screen, you'll see a lot of time has elapsed. My computer actually uh, turned off while we were downloading, and we were able to recover that process and pick right back up where the download had stopped. So that's why we use the Manage Download. Uh, it's just a good demonstration, albeit an accidental one. So now that we're at 100%, we're going to go ahead and click Open. It's a really small little button right under the green bar. Um, and once we're open, we're going to go into, you may not have all of these different files, but we're going to go into CCW, Connected Component Workbench, and we're going to double click on the DVD.part1. That's going to open the program. We're going to extract it. And the default file location is almost always fine. So this will extract for a few minutes. OK. So we're done extracting. Um, when it's done, you'll see it's, uh, the window has automatically closed itself. So we're going to go into this new folder that's been created, just called STD DVD. Um, double click on that to open it. And we've got lots of little different files here. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we find Setup. And then we're going to double click on Setup. It's going to ask if we want to allow this to make changes on our device. And we're going to click Yes. We do trust Rockwell Automation. It's going to open a setup window here. We're going to click Install Now. You can click Customize, but I would recommend just Install Now. It'll get you where you want to be. And then we'll accept their terms, and uh, it'll start installing. All right, so the program's all done installing. Now we can go to our Windows bar and launch Connected Component Workbench. That's going to take us to our main screen that we can see here. Uh, every time we open a new instance of Connected Component Workbench, we'll start on this screen. From here, we can program VFDs, Micro 800 controllers, and PanelView 800 HMIs, along with some other safety relays that is offered by Rockwell Automation. 
We'll have more details on how to do all of that in future videos, so make sure you like it and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.